I have three other videos that go over in more detail about adding UI to Unity, adding a button, adding an input field, and also a text field as UI, but it's a little old and I figured I would do an updated version and also kind of combine them instead of having it in three different videos. So to begin, I already have a Unity project open and I am going to create my UI elements on the screen. And for these, we're going to be using the legacy versions, not the Text Mesh Pro ones. I'll demonstrate that in a different video since the coding is different. So the first thing I want to do is create these elements. So in the hierarchy panel, I'm going to click on the plus sign and I'm going to go to UI and let's add all three of these elements. I'm going down to legacy. So once again, not input field, not the button or text up here. I'm going to legacy and I'll add that text field. I'm going to also add the input field. So I'm going to go to UI legacy input field and I'm going to go to UI legacy button. Okay. Now it looks kind of strange since it's actually putting these things on a canvas and not what you look at the camera with. So this canvas actually will overlay what the camera will see. So we need to put this in an easier way to view it. So I'm going to go ahead and go to canvas and double click on it. And I can wheel mouse in to zoom in a little bit. Um, something I'd also recommend if you are in a 3D project, there is a 2D button up at the top of the screen. So if you're in a 3D project, it might look kind of strange. So go ahead and click on that 2D button to make sure it looks like that. When you're done, you can always um, unclick it to go back into 3D mode. But this canvas area with the outline is really showing what the bounds of the screen is going to be that the user will see. So this will overlay anything once you play. And these elements are created up down at the bottom left and we just need to move them into place. So to do that, I'm going to choose this move tool in my tools panel and I can click on what I'd like to move. So I think what I'll do is do the input field on the top. So I'll click here and grab this blue button, position it where I'd like it to be. I'm gonna move the button next. I'll put that in the middle. And then I think I'll put the text at the bottom. And if I hit play, I can see what it'll look like actually on the screen. And since I've zoomed into the canvas, it looks about the same. Now notice the text I can't really see very well and the button is still called button. So I'm going to go ahead and change those. So I'm going to hit stop. To change the name of what's on the button, I'm going to click on button and this arrow on the side, I can open up and click on text. Over in the inspector, I can change the text. So I can just say, um, push me, right? So that's fine. So that changes the text on the button. And to change the attributes of this text, I'm going to go to this text field. And over also in the inspector, I can change what it would say. If I'd like, I'm just going to leave it as new text for now. But um, I think I want it to be white text so it'll show up a little better. So I'm going to change that. And I could change it larger if I'd like. I can change the font size here. If you drag on the side, you can make it larger and smaller. I'm going to make it a little larger. But also, keep in mind, if the text is too large for this bounding box, the text will end up um, disappearing. So what I'm going to do is actually increase that by clicking this and making my um, bounds larger. And then I'm also going to make it centered. So you can play with this a lot. You can also change the overflow settings and set it up. But I just wanted to point that out. Okay, so now our um, UI elements are on here and also might be be wise to name these what they're going to be. So I'm going to name this output. Okay, input field is fine and uh, I guess the button is fine too. The reason I named this text field is that there is also a text field on this and here so it makes it a little confusing on what to drag over later. 
Okay, so the next step is to create the script to control the UI. Now I already made a C Sharp class and just so I don't neglect that, I'm going to make a new empty game object. I'm going to call it script and assign that script to that. Okay, so it's in the hierarchy. I'm going to go ahead and open that script. Okay, so for this, I'm not actually going to be using start or update, so I'm going to go ahead and delete these. And um, I am only going to be using a custom method. So the first thing I'm going to do is add a directive at the top to allow it to use Unity Engine's UI. So I need to say using using Unity Engine dot UI. Now it's gray since it hasn't actually been accessed yet, and that's fine. Now I'm also going to add public input field and public text objects here and give them names to allow them to connect to the script. Okay, so for each of these, I gave them a name. So it's kind of like a variable. So for this, I'm going to be creating an input field object. And for this, I'm calling username because I'm just going to type in a name there. And for this also, for the output, it is a text object. So when I want to refer to it, I use, in this case, username and output. To actually have it do something, I need to create a method that the button will run when I click on it. To do that, I'm going to say public void and I can call it whatever I want. In this case, I'm going to call it my demo button. And I need parentheses, open and close curly braces. And inside of there is I will put whatever code I want to run when I have the button pushed. So if I want to access the text of the input field or the text of the text field, I need to use the text attribute. So for instance, if I want to set the output text to anything, I would say output dot text. I can't just say output. I need to actually use the text attribute. So I'm going to say equals and I can set it to whatever they enter. So I could say username dot text. And what this will do is take whatever is in that input field username, the text of it, and it will assign it to the text of the output field. So in this case, it will just set it exactly to what I entered. So we'll just start with that. So I'm going to go ahead and save this script. I'm going to go back to Unity. And before I run it, I need to connect these up. So first I'm going to connect the method to the button. So I've got this button, but it doesn't know what to do until I assign it. So I can either click on the button in the scene with the um, move tool, or I can click on it in the hierarchy. So I'm going to click on button, and over in the inspector, if I scroll down, there is an on click section. So I'm going to click on the plus sign, and it will allow me to attach a script to it. Now I can't just grab the script from the assets, I need to grab it from object it's attached to. So in this case, I'm going to drag script down to the spot that says none object. Alternately, there is a little target that I could click on. I could click on the scene and I could choose the script object from that. So now I also need to assign the function. So here I'm going to click on this where it says no function and I choose my name of my class and the method inside of it which is my demo button. Then it should be connected. Okay, I also need to do one other thing, which is assign what the input field is and what the text field is to the things on the screen. So if I click on script, I'd already assigned this over here. Notice over in the inspector, it says none input field and none text. So I need to say what input field and what text field should be connected. So I go over to here and I can drag output to text because that's a text field. And I drag the input field to the input field. Now that should all be connected up. When I push play, 
I should be able to enter something, push this, and now it says whatever I entered. So in this case, I was picking a username or something. Okay, I can also add other text to this if I'd like. So if I wanted it to be more of a greeting, I could go into my code and I could add on things like, hello there. It'll be the username. I'm gonna save this, go back to Unity, and if I hit play now, it says, hello there, Sam. So that is a basic demo of how you can create a UI using the legacy input field, button, and text in Unity. Like I said, these are for the legacy ones only. The Text Mesh Pro ones code a little bit different, and I will be doing a separate video on how to work with those. It's very similar, but you need to do a few different things. If you found this handy, please subscribe.